my brothers, it's Christmas year 2006. We have burned through 365 days of some tough days, days that have strengthened us and blessed us for what we are just now. For I am what I feel I am it comes from all those days of hard work and how God has blessed me and you to be. We've had the opportunity to plant seed, to harvest, pave new roads, lay some new foundation. In this DVD, we will look at new ground, of what God has for us that is not talked about very much. It is experienced, yet there are few words that can truly describe God, yet people write countless books endlessly trying to. My brothers, God's love explains God. Thank you. Merry Christmas. All right. First class. My brothers, understanding God's love We have to give proper attention to where it should be. The way that God has worked to inspire us, our thankfulness to loved ones that he has sent along his way is an expression of God's love, the people that we meet and the way that we minister to them and the way that we exchange and trade kindness and uh, um, adoration for one another. This is an expression of God's love. God's love appears to us in many forms. In affection, a hard day's work, blessings, grace, the opportunity to help people, the opportunity to see God and to see what He does and to identify that even in anguish and pain, agony, we're able to recognize God's handiwork and to be thankful for it. In this DVD, Paul Gedd is establishing truth by way of the Holy Spirit and how Pain, agony, adoration, respect, all work together to make us better people and stronger people. And they're all a blessing. Pain is just as much a blessing as, well, we don't see it that way because we like what feels good. Yet, Pain sometimes brings the greater strength. The greater strength 
so often does come from pain. Yet, it's not pain that is harmful to us. Sometimes God leads us, God directs us, sometimes God brings instruction to us through things that hurt. Sometimes He does it through things that feel good and taste good and we love to experience. And sometimes it's through the things that we don't want to experience. However God chooses to bless us, that's how we will achieve. Remember, we are a zero, and we cannot achieve anything without God. So, when we have this pain, it can be at work, it can be at church, because people, people want to flex their nonsense muscles either place, anywhere you go in the world, people want to do the nonsense. It makes them feel powerful to be able to do nonsense things and say, look at what I can do. Well, my loving brothers, this is what we can do. We begin by exercising our perfect submission to the Holy Spirit. That's where God's going to bring us up. Perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture, they burst on my sight. Angels descending, they bring from above. Echoes God's mercy, it's God's whisper, God's love. This is my story, my Lord, this is my song. I am praising you, my Savior, all the day long. This is my story, my Lord, this is my song, I'm praising you, my Savior, all the day long.